I got an interesting email the other day and it really got me thinking. This person asked me, John, what is the best fish food out there on the market? What do you suggest that I feed my fish? Because I'm really worried about my fish. I've tried every single fish food out there, the expensive stuff, the cheap stuff, and the only thing that I can get my fish to eat is the cheapest food from like Walmart or something like that. And I'm just afraid that my fish isn't getting everything that he or she needs. I, I don't feel like I'm a good fish keeper using only this food. What do you suggest? Now this really got me thinking because I was like, <laughs> the answer is staring at you in the face. It should be very clear what the answer to that question is, but this person genuinely didn't know. And so I thought, you know, this is something worthy of talking about in video because a lot of people are confused about this. What is the best fish food out there? What's the best brand, the best type? What is it that I, everybody can feed their fish and it's the miracle cure for every kind of fish? Well, the answer to that question is pretty surprising. I'm gonna ask you to stay tuned to the end of this video and you're gonna find out what my answer is as far as the best fish food out there. But to start off this conversation, I think it makes sense to go through, tell you what we're feeding all of our fish. And then at the end, I'll tell you the magic secret, super secret formula that you should be feeding your fish right now to get the absolute best results. Let's start out here with my goldfish tank. I feed them and the white clouds that are in here with them, goldfish flakes from Extreme and the goldfish pellet from Extreme. Look at them, they're begging. Uh, I'm not gonna feed the fish in this video because we feed them at night. I don't wanna get them off of their whole routine, uh, but I'm gonna tell you right now, these two foods are the best for my fish. Moving on to my peacock and half tank, I have been feeding exclusively lately the Krill Pro from Northfin. I also mix in some Big Fella Cichlid from Extreme, uh, but the can was empty, so they've been getting Krill Pro for about the last month now exclusively, and they're doing extremely well. You're gonna notice a pattern here that almost all the foods that we feed are Extreme or Northfin. Not doing a big advertisement for this, just stay with me here until the end of the video. I promise this is all gonna make sense. But this right here, I'm telling you, this with the combination of this and Big Fella from Extreme, the best. Moving along here to the Yellow Lab Tank, of course they run away and hide as soon as I walk up to it, but we have been feeding them exclusively. We have not been mixing it with anything, the veggie formula from Northfin. I, I'm telling you right now, these fish have grown substantially since we moved here to this house. I feel like they kind of hit a wall before we moved, but now they're just blowing up and it's starting to make me wonder if I have too many fish in there. Back here in the dark corner are flavescent peacocks. Have you seen these yet? I don't know if I've shown them to you yet, but this is a breeding project that we have going on. There's gonna be a video about this. I got these fish from the Cichlid Shack. It's a really cool group of flavescent peacocks in here. They have too been locked in to the Krill Pro from Northfin. Uh, they are thriving on it. They're doing extremely well. And we're also already seeing some breeding activity from them. My shoulders are getting tired from this camera. My beloved Oscar tank with my bikers. This one's tricky because they eat different foods. We gotta feed the Oscars, make sure they're happy. And then we gotta feed Slytherin. We've gotta feed Draco, Crab, and Goyle, something completely different. What we do, we feed the Oscars the Hikari food sticks. I accidentally grabbed the food sticks. I meant to grab the carnivore, jumbo carnivore stick, or sticks, uh, which are bigger than these. These are the smaller ones, but the Oscars don't care. They eat it right up. And then for the bikers, yes, I said their names, Draco, Crab, and Goyle. Uh, they get the carnivore from Northfin and it is adorable. It's like watching them eat a bowl of cookie crisp. It is just the cutest thing ever. The Oscars do take a few of the carnivore too. Uh, the Oscars are gonna eat whatever they wanna eat, but I'm telling you right now, the combination of these two, along with the jumbo freeze-dried krill from Tetra, the best. I mean, these three foods are the best for these fish. They're doing so well on it. it it's just, they're the best. 
Lisa's prized possession, the Santarum Discus from Discus Hans. A few of these are brand new, a video a couple of weeks ago when we got them. Uh, they're mixed in with the others. I don't know which ones are which, but she has been feeding them two foods lately. One is the Discus Hans food that he sells on his website. We don't sell it. It's a frozen food that he hand makes. It's expensive, but it's some of the best food out there. And we've also been feeding the Krill Flake from Northfin. Uh, also the Krill Flake, Flake, Krill Flake from Extreme. Uh, all of these, the fish are growing. They're growing fast. They're beautiful. Their colors are unbelievable. They are the best, just the best. I don't care what anybody says. Those three foods for these discus, the best. Lisa's Alien Beta Sorority. She put this together a couple of months ago, I guess. We did a video on this. Uh, the betas get a combination. This is in an extreme beta pellet can, but there's also the beta pellets from Northfin mixed in here. It's just kind of a little medley of both of those pellets in there. And then the Cats Aquatics snail food for the snails that are in there. I, I mean, it, it's, it's the same thing over and over again, right? The best. Lisa's baby discus, I forgot to turn the light on. They're adorable, they're growing super fast. She feeds them the exact same foods that she feeds the grown-ups. She just mashes them down a little smaller. Discus Hans frozen food, the krill flake from uh, Northfin, as well as the krill flake from Extreme, the best. Moving on into Lisa's beta room, the betas themselves, they all get exactly what you think they get. They get the beta pellets from Extreme. They get the beta pellets from Northfin. She mixes it in the same can. And so it's not like she picks out one or the other. They get what they get. Whatever comes out is what they get. The combination of those two, they seem to be doing really well on. Our betas are thriving. Buy them on our website. You'll see they're doing extremely well. And I would definitely recommend if you buy from us, buy some of the food while you're there because that's what they're eating now and they're doing extremely well on it. All of Lisa's nano tanks, very simple. Community Crave from Extreme, Krill Flakes from Northfin, and the Cats Aquatics snail food because she has tons and tons of snails. We buy a big bag made just for us from Cats Aquatics uh, because she goes through so much of that snail food. And I'm just gonna tell you, I know this is gonna come as a surprise to you, but the combination of the community crave and the community flakes from Northfin, the krill flakes from Northfin, the cats aquatics, the best. All of these, the best. Hi. The only way I'm gonna get Carl to not be a jerk while we're making this video is if I hold him right here and pet him. I'm willing to guess that you're probably a little bit confused by now. You're probably like, wait a minute. John's walking me through his entire fish house, the whole this old fish house, and he's pulling out all of these foods and showing us what he feeds to his fish. And according to him, every single one of those foods is the best. This doesn't make sense. They can't all be the best. Well, yes, they can. Because... The answer to the question, what is the best fish food? What is the best fish food out there? The answer is whatever your fish will eat. I know that sounds ridiculous. It sounds crazy. It's like, wait a minute. That everybody says that Rapashi and Dainichi and Northfin and Extreme, and they're all the best. Like, that doesn't make sense. What are, are all these people wrong? No, they're not wrong. Some foods are definitely better than others. You look at the ingredients and the ingredients are just better than others or the way the food is processed, the way the food is made makes it better than the others. But none of that matters if your fish don't eat it. If you put that super expensive food in the tank and your fish don't eat it, what good is it doing other than making you a little poorer because you're buying all of that food? Listen, if all your fish will eat is the super cheap stuff, then feed them the super cheap stuff. I know you don't want to do that. I know you're thinking, but the other foods, the ingredients are so much better. 
First of all, they're probably not. A lot of the foods are made from the same manufacturers. I mean, there are some that are their own manufacturers like Dainichi and North Finn and stuff like that. But there are a lot of brands that are made by one particular manufacturer, but it, none of that really matters. What is in the fish food, the ingredients, all of, none of that matters if your fish won't eat it. So stop being your own worst enemy, or I guess the better way of saying it is stop being your fish's worst enemy. If they are eating a food and they are thriving, their tank isn't disgustingly dirty. They're growing, they're happy, they're exploring, they're swimming around, maybe they're breeding. If they're doing all of that and they're doing it on the cheap food, that's okay. You don't have to worry about your fish not getting enough. They're obviously getting enough. They're thriving. You are just trying to look for a problem and the problem doesn't exist. Yeah, maybe you wanna be able to brag to your fish keeping friends, I give them this expensive food. But what good does that do if they don't eat it? The answer to the question of what is the best fish food out there, the answer is what your fish will eat, period. Now I know there's gonna be some people that are gonna fight me on this and I understand, listen to me, I'm a retailer. I sell fish foods. I want you to buy the fish foods that we sell. We believe in the foods that we sell. Everything that I showed you today, we sell except for the big bags of Cats Aquatics, but we sell all this stuff and I want you to buy it, but I don't want you to buy it simply because you like the brand name or you think that because it costs a certain amount that must make it good. No, I want you to buy it because I've told you, hey, this works for me, give it a try. And if you give it a try and your fish eat it and they thrive on it, then yes, that is the best food for your fish. But if they don't eat it, I don't want you to freak out thinking, well, it's junk or it's not any good. Or the, my fish only eat the, the cheap stuff. That must mean that the expensive stuff is bad and the cheap stuff is good. No, it doesn't mean that at all. It means that to your fish, that particular food is the best. I hope I'm getting this through to you. Price means nothing. Ingredients means nothing. Who you buy it from, how it's manufactured, it means nothing if your fish don't eat it. So forget about all that stuff. Buy what your fish are eating, buy what they're thriving on, and they're gonna thank you for it. Now we have a problem in our hobby, and I was actually just dealing with this this morning, an email that I got completely separate from this topic here, but a customer had emailed me and saying, I feel like I need to buy another filter for my tank because I just don't feel like it's filtered enough. And my question to that customer was, are your fish happy? Are they thriving? Are they healthy? Are they eating? Is your tank, does it look good? And the answer to all of those questions was yes. And then I said, why are you trying to manufacture a problem? Why are you looking for a problem? Your tank is fine, leave it alone. I would love to sell you a filter, but I don't wanna sell you a filter if it's not necessary. And the same thing goes for fish foods. Stop looking for something that doesn't exist. If your fish are happy and they're thriving, you don't need to buy them a better food and spend more money just because you think it's gonna be better. I wanna sell it to you, but I don't want you to buy it if it's gonna be a waste of money. If your fish are thriving on the food that you have, then keep feeding that food to them and consider yourself lucky because your fish like the cheap stuff. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out in the end, me just basically ranting about this, but I, I'm not gonna keep saying it over and over and over again. What I'm telling you is true. Again, I want you to spend the money with my website, but I don't want you to do it if you don't need to do it. We sell what I believe are some of the best foods out there, but if your fish don't eat it, then it's terrible. So only your fish can answer the question, what is the best food out there? And the answer is whatever they eat. So there you go, thank you. I know this is different, this is weird. I just had this idea and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna turn the camera on and I'm gonna talk about it. Hopefully it turned out okay and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below if you like this kind of stuff. And if you wanna see future videos like this, the best something. Tell me what you want me to do a video of, the best of whatever. Let me know, we can have some fun with this. This can be a good time. Taking questions that people tend to overanalyze and overthink and overspend and breaking them down 
making it simple to digest. And if this is easier, you're going to enjoy this hobby a lot more. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Bye.